Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can get the new exotic gunslinger holster called the Dodge City Gunslinger Holster. Now, in order to get things started, you want to head over to Anaya, and she will have your very first part. The holster entail, you need to purchase this, and it reads, there are reports of a missing museum piece being split up into several pieces. Intel from the local population suggests that one of them is being held by an unspecified hostile faction in the westernmost control point in DC. Get that and bring it back. So go ahead, purchase that, and we want to head over to the Riverside Gas Station. This control point is a level one. Go ahead and complete that at level one, neutralize the leader, and then head over to your reward. Now that reward will be in your supply room. In that supply room you will have a container that you will need to open up. Inside of that, you will have your very next exotic piece. This one is called the Holster Fast Leather Belt. So, boom, and there you have it. So, the next thing that we want to do is you want to turn in this leather holster piece. So, go on over to your gold projects. You can either do this at the base of operations or do it from your menu under projects. Donate that piece and you will then have that next step completed. From that point, you will then have to do three level four control points to get the next three parts under the Rue, the Bad, and the Evil part of the Gold Project. It reads, Scouts have reported that three other different components are being held by specific individuals of the different factions. Their behavioral patterns suggest that they will only appear near control points in the alert level in high enough. Lure the targets out by getting the control points to the highest alert level. So that what we're going to be doing. You need to go into three different factions, you know, Outcast, True Sons, pick, choose whichever three that you want. Keep track. Get it to control point level four, and then you want to proceed to take out the control point boss. Now, you'll know exactly which boss it is because you're going to have a little cowboy hat on. Now, once you complete your first one, you will get your next holster piece called the inverted leather holster. So that's what you're going to be doing. Three different control points from three different factions at control point level four. All right. Now, once you have all three of those different pieces of your holster, you're then going to all turn them back in to your base of operations. Or you can do it from your menu. Totally up to you totally up to you. So this right here is the second piece uh, called the Ornate Leather Holster. Once again, you need to get the control points to level four at three different of the factions. Okay, make sure you keep track. You don't want to be doing extra control points and you know, you already got that completed and you know, it's going to be a regular guy that show up. You don't want that to happen. You don't want to be wasting time doing this. So this is the third part. We have the holster, the oil hammered guards. So once again, we're doing them all at control point level four, getting that piece from the guy with the cowboy hat, turning them all back in, and once you have finished all of the projects so far, you have a new thing that popped up called Showdown at the High Noon. Now, I want you to make sure you pay very close attention to this text because it's very important if you want to knock this piece out on your very first try. It says the final piece of the original item has been tracked down. It is transported by Black Tusk Unit. The convo which wrote has a scheduled stop at the bar northeast of the White House. Intercept and inquire to find a component. Don't show up before they do. Now this should be in bold text because if you even near the area, they will not show up. So if you're watching this video and you're having some troubles with the people not spawning, that Black Tusk group not spawning, it's probably because you're too close to the area. Now this right here is the bar that they're going to spawn in. It's right here located right by this echo off 15th Street Northwest. You cannot miss it, but I'm going to show you like I just did the exact location where they will spawn in. But you have to make sure you're not in the area. If you close by, they will not spawn. They are going to spawn all in this back room right here. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. First time, you're going to knock it out the park. So don't even be in the area. Right now, I'm in downtown West. All right. We're checking the time. It is 1152. All right. If you didn't know how you can check the time, just go into your menu, go into photo mode, and then it will show you on the top right hand side. So right now, it's past 12 o'clock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in 
over here at the classified assignment entrance and we're going to make our way back over to the same location so I'm going to mark it for you at the echo spot. I'm going to walk back over there and they will spot in guarantee first try don't worry if you're having problems with it it's probably because you were just too close to the area so make sure you're not even in the area spawn in like I said and make your way back over here and they will be here okay now once you're there it will be a black tusk unit now this is just one guy that you need to take out but he does have some of his boys around so just you know just just know that it's not just him now you want to take out Candom and attract him take him out and he will drop our final piece to the holster finally got it so if you're having problems with him spotting in just do like I do like I saw earlier in the video it was way past 12 so just make sure it's past 12 spawning to the location pick up that last piece head back on over to your goal projects once again turn in the final piece donate that bad boy and then you will finally complete your mission and you will have yourself the blueprint the Dodge City Gunslinger holster but no it doesn't end there you will still need to craft it so we're going to head back over to the crafting table and want to see what the requirements are for us to craft this exotic holster as you can see right here we have all of the pieces but you also need a providence modular holster and a petrol holster so if you say what's a modular holster it's basically just you just need an exotic holster over gear score 250 now me i have two of them right here that i can craft so i'm going to go ahead and craft them but if you just want to go ahead and buy one you can buy one pick one up if you have one in your inventory get it turn both of those pieces in craft it and you will finally have your Dodge City Gunslinger Exotic Holster. Comes with slide of hand, 20% accuracy, stability, reload speed, optimal range, and 20% revolver damage. But you need that pistol to be in there. Also comes with quick draw, swap into your pistol, reload assault weapon, and perforator. Shots fired from your pistol penetrates the enemies. Pistol headshots kills grant 20% weapon damage and allow your primary and secondary weapons to penetrate enemies for 8 seconds. The duration is increased to 11 seconds when using a revolver. So boom, there you have it. Another division guide. Hopefully make it easy as possible so you can get this on your very first try. So that's pretty much going to end it for this video. As always, if you're new to the channel, oh welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help out the channel in the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support and as always I'll be seeing y'all in the next one later <laughs>